Okay, so let's talk about this question. It's a really good one that a lot of people have when they learn about how I used naltrexone to overcome my alcohol dependence. So I use the Sinclair Method protocol, which involves taking naltrexone in a targeted dose one hour before drinking. So I started this treatment as a daily drinker, was taking naltrexone every time before drinking, and over the course of a year, I got to be someone who was drinking like once a month, which meant I was taking naltrexone once a month, just one hour before drinking. Now what happened for me, which was kind of surprising, is that I ended up going alcohol free through this treatment. I went on the Sinclair method to really be a normal moderate drinker. I never had a plan to quit drinking, but after a little more than a year on this protocol, I just found that I was so uninterested in drinking that like months and months were going by and I wasn't even thinking about alcohol. I wasn't craving alcohol. I was preferring, you know, coconut water and sparkling water. And so after four months of not drinking and not wanting to drink, I ended up going alcohol free and that was about six years ago. I also haven't taken naltrexone in six years either because I have not drank alcohol in six years. However, if I were gonna drink again, which I might drink again one day, I don't know, um, I would plan to take naltrexone beforehand. Um, I would do that because I know that it would prevent my brain from redeveloping alcohol use disorder because when I take naltrexone before drinking, it's kind of blunting some of the euphoric effects that alcohol provides. And so I know that I could still drink, I could still enjoy it, but I'd probably be satisfied with one or two and I wouldn't go overboard. I've known people over the years who were able to return to drinking again after this treatment without taking the naltrexone, but that's more, I would say, the minority. A lot of people who continue to drink um, will continue to take naltrexone beforehand just because it prevents them from redeveloping alcohol use disorder. Now, I haven't drank, like I said, in six years, and I haven't taken the naltrexone in six years because um, the changes that happened in my brain to help my brain essentially unlearn alcohol use disorder have been permanent. So um, I don't feel like I ever had an alcohol addiction. It honestly feels like it was erased from my brain. My brain feels like it did like back before I started drinking in my teen years um, where I just don't care about alcohol. I don't think about it. I don't want it. I don't miss it. All of that. So the results I got with this treatment were permanent um, with regards to kind of how I relate to alcohol and whether or not I like alcohol now. However, again, if I were to drink again one day, which again, I might, I would definitely take naltrexone beforehand. So I hope that answers your question. Um, generally what I've seen for people who go on the Sinclair method, like I've talked to a lot of doctors who treat people using this protocol and they generally do recommend that people continue to take the medicine as long as they continue to drink again, because it just protects the brain from redevelopment developing alcohol use disorder. And that's definitely what I would do would do as well. Like even though like I'm a completely different person now and I, I'm not, you know, the same person I was when I had my alcohol addiction, I still don't totally trust my brain because alcohol addiction runs in my family and I would be concerned that if I drank again without the naltrexone over time, I might redevelop the alcohol use disorder tendencies and I just never want to go back to where I was. So I keep naltrexone on hand. If I want to drink again, one day I'll just take it beforehand. Um, I hope that answers your question. As always, you guys, you can learn more about this treatment. All my videos are about it. I have some playlists, I have pinned videos, and you can also check out the link in my profile.